Stargate 1312.4. The impossible has happened. From directly ahead, we're picking up a recorded distress signal. The call letters of a vessel which has been missing for over two centuries. Did another Earth ship once probe out of the galaxy as we intend to do? What happened to it out there? Is this some warning they've left behind? Okay, hi everyone, this is Super Underdoggy giving you a quick review of the Mego Star Trek Tricorder. This is a life-size Star Trek Tricorder uh, cassette player that was sold as a toy by Mego Corporation, uh, you know, to department stores, toy stores, you name it, uh, back in the 1970s, approximately 1976 to 1980 or so. It's uh, the first life-size replica of a Tricorder, so I remember my older brother had one of these and just went nuts with it. Uh, the fact that he could now run around like Spock in the backwoods uh, behind our house and uh, kind of play dress up, uh, record stuff, whatever, uh, was just very, very, very cool. And uh, it was not unlike Mego at all to have such an innovative item at the time. So, uh, as you heard, these came with a uh, cassette tape uh, that was pre-recorded with the original episode of Star Trek with the original cast members from the 60s on the one side. On the reverse side, it has a blank tape to where you can record your own adventure. So, um, regarding function, you know, to install your tape, you put it in upside down, click it in like that, shut the front cover, although this will play without the cover, um, closed. To breathing lounge. Object is now within tractor beam range. Okay, so, you know, don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can if you want. Um, play, rewind, and fast forward are all based off of this style. Up is rewind, down is play down twice is fast forward. To record what you do is you'd hold this down and then switch it to play and that's the record feature. Um, in case you don't have the original instructions but you can download the original instructions uh, from superunderdoggy.com if you want to get a copy of those I have those. This is the original packaging that the tricorder came in. On the front is a great shot of Kirk and Spock. On the back is uh, the actual life-size you know rendering of the product so Pretty cool stuff. Um, regarding, uh, let's see, what else? A little tricolor view screen will spin. There's a map of the galaxy up there in case you get lost. A picture of uh, Spock and Kirk and some stars. Uh, and that's about it. Um, very well made uh, toy. This is steel. This is steel. Uh, these parts are steel. So some of the fit and finish of this thing, uh, very thick plastic, very rugged. Uh, just very, very well made. And as you can see from the box, probably can't see because I'm not zoomed in. It was only $12.99 at retail and this is from King's Department Store. So I mean what a great deal back in the day. Uh, it's amazing Mio didn't sell more of these. I think they sold in the thousands. I don't even know if they sold in the ten thousands. So they're fairly rare today to find. Um, you see one or two on eBay every now and then but uh, if there ever were any major demand for these I know they'd be very very difficult to find. So. Um, Regarding variations, really externally there aren't that many. Sometimes uh, this little uh, window, which is just plastic, will be tinted. Sometimes it'll be clear. Um, other than that, there's some internal parts that are uh, different, different manufacturing. Notes. And the reason I know all this stuff is I have 180 of these that were former department store returns to the Mego warehouse that I acquired uh, that were found in a basement in a, uh, in a townhouse that was being renovated. So apparently uh, Mego had sold these to a third party to refurbish and then resell, and they never made it past the uh, refurbish stage. Um, so I'm very happy to have these, obviously, in my collection. Um, this device runs on 4C batteries, uh, three up top here, one deep in the well. And if you've ever owned one of these, you know this is the huge pain. Uh, so much so that Mego, I'm sure, got a lot of returns from it. Um, originally, as you can see in this one, the battery well was all springs. Uh, this one isn't necessarily all springs, but um, <clears throat> the, the first ones were. And getting a battery, I happen to have a vintage Panasonic Long Life battery that came with the uh, department store returns. It's not wide enough to really get in there and put it in like you normally would. So you have to use something to uh, hold it back and get it in there. Uh, and I show you how to do that in another video. But uh, Mego adapted this. Just another interesting example if you're into toy engineering to see how companies evolve their products. They came out with this little thing, which is designed to take the place of the spring. You know, you put it in like this first, and then you can slide it in there. So that was pretty cool. The ones that they sold with that came with this little sheet of paper. So obviously that's probably pretty hard to find at this point as well, because it's small, and I don't think many people keep that kind of thing back in the day. Later on, they evolved to clips. And so you have all springs, then you have um, 
uh, maybe this thing and then you have uh, one clip then you see some with two clips two springs eventually it looks like they went to all clips um, problem with the clips is when you push a battery in if you don't get it between the post and the clip meaning the positive end of the battery between the post and the clip and put it in this way um, then you really uh, can bend this down and then when you go to pull it out you bend it up and eventually this will snap off so they always had problems with these I did notice some of them actually the well is a little bit wider maybe they did that to help battery installation but then the connections weren't as tight they just seems like this was always a problem so not all battery covers will fit all battery wells if you have a large collection of these um, like I do and you try to just grab any random battery cover they don't always fit kind of interesting if you're into that kind of stuff so that's about it. That is the Mego Star Trek tricorder from the 1970s. Thanks for watching the video and uh, go to superunderdoggy.com and uh, check out what else I have and uh, thanks for watching.